Good evening guys. Today I would like to discuss the main medications for ADHD, the Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. There are four main medications. Number one, methylphenidate or Ritalin, then dextramphetamine, then Stratera, atomoxetin, then fourthly, Pemelin. Now, 75% of children with ADHD, they benefit from one of these medications. It decreases their hyperactivity and uh, it increases their attention span and uh, decreases the impulsivity on these children. So, using a medication is always a good idea. And you can also change from medication to medication because children who do not respond to one medication, they may respond to a different medication. So it's a usual practice to change medications according to the response we see. And also to go from short acting to long acting based on the needs of a particular child because some students, especially those who work uh, on their studies in the night time, they may not like a long-acting one that has actions that are curtailed before their study time because they need a, I mean, stabilizer during their study time. Okay, now let us come to these four medications. They all are stimulants, except two. Stratera, that is atomoxetin and uh, bupropion, valbutrin, those two are non-stimulants. They don't stimulate. And atomoxetin is approved by FDA and uh, it is a selective noradrenergic receptor block inhibitor. And uh, bupropion, the valbutrin, it blocks serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine reuptake. So these two, they are non-stimulants. Now, who are the people in which you do not use these medications? There are four main categories. Number one, in children with a family history of tics or Tourette syndrome, Number two, children with a family history of substance abuse or addictive disorders because those addicts, they take these medications from these children. And thirdly, with psychotic disorders. And fourthly, who have a history in which their symptoms actually worsened with these medications. So these are the four main contraindications. Then what are the common adverse effects? The most common ones are anorexia, weight loss, abdominal distress, headache, insomnia, dysphoria, tearfulness, irritability, lethargy, mild tachycardia, and mild elevation in blood pressure. And there are less common effects, as I mentioned earlier, the Tourette syndrome, that is the uh, emergence of motor tics, and also behavioral stereotypes. Some children, they repeat those actions again and again. Some uh, parents actually call the doctors, stating that uh, the medication improved their grades in the school, but the children, they are making stereotypical movements, which is, uh, uh, I mean, embarrassing to parents in public. So these are the main side effects of uh, these uh, ADHD medications. Now let us uh, deal with each medication. Number one, methylphenidate, the Ritalin. You start with 5 milligrams once or twice a day, and the maximum dose is 60 milligrams, and... Uh, you can actually use long-acting methylphenidate for children to whom you cannot prescribe short-acting ones. And uh, especially this is important in uh, high school kids because 
they don't want to be labeled as ADHDs. The same with children in school. So for these children, it is always a wise thing to use an extended release form of methylphenidate. And secondly, dextromphetamine sulfate. You can start with 2.5 to 10 milligrams twice daily and um, there is also a sustained release preparation with clinical effects up to 8 hours, that is dextromphetamine sulfate. And uh, thirdly, statera, atomoxetine hydrochloride. As I said earlier, it uh, is not a stimulant. It is uh, a serotonin reuptake inhibitor and uh, you start around uh, 0.5 milligrams per kg and increase according to the response you see. And fourthly, pemelin. When you use pemelin, you should always take care of the liver function. This is very important point. Pemelin is contraindicated in patients with liver failure or decreased liver function. So those are the four main medications, methylphenidate, dextromphetamine, stratera, and pemelin. Thank you.